Hey Gemini, welcome to Awaken Blue Hearts Tarot. For those that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those that are returning, hey guys. I hope everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your reading for the second half of March. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may not apply to your situation or everyone's situation at that. So if you feel like it doesn't apply, um, please take a look at my other videos to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. All right, Gemini. So before we hop in, you guys know I have to show my appreciation. So thank you for all the likes, shares, comments, subscriptions, donations. Like I really do love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. All right, Gemini. So we're going to hop in. And I know you're curious to see what may happen for the second half of March. Okay. All right, Spirit, if you can please give me three cards for my Geminis. What messages do you have for them, please? Three cards for Gemini. Okay, first card, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And the last card, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Okay, so honestly, just off bat, Gemini, this is basically telling me that you guys are dealing with someone that you feel like could be the one for you. There's definitely an attraction that you both share, but either you or the person that you're dealing with, there's some type of unrequited love here, which is basically what I'm picking up. Somebody's feeling like, you know, maybe even though there's something about this person, I really don't know if this is really the right person because there's something about this person that I just, I can't shake or, you know, there's something about this person that I don't really care for. So... That's either you or this other individual feeling that way. So let's just hop in and let's see what's going on. All right, Spirit. General reading for Gemini, second half of March. What messages do you have for Gemini? All right, let's see what's going on. All right, bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Wands reversed. So this is telling me that you guys, somebody wants to come out of conflict with you, or maybe somebody's coming out of conflict with other individuals. Well, let's just see. Yeah. And this could be why things are moving slow right now. Tell me more. Yep. Could be dealing with a Pisces here, but somebody wants to give you the truth. Mm -hmm. Somebody may have taken some type of financial loss. Maybe they're feeling like their money isn't where it should be. And they're trying to basically dig themselves out of a hole. For others of you, I feel like somebody hurt you or maybe you hurt this other person. And I'm, somebody's just healing because they want things to improve here. There's definitely an apology that somebody wants to give to the other person. But they just don't have the confidence to do so. Yeah, they're not being positive right now. Okay, so what is going on, Gemini? What happened? Somebody's dropping a situation. Somebody's letting something go. Okay. Tell me more, please. Maybe you guys found out that somebody was being a player. Maybe you feel like somebody needs to take the initiative to do something. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, <laughs> or Sagittarius. Somebody could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But there's two people here. Could be two men, could be two women. Y'all know how I feel about my court cards. But there's definitely two people here. I feel like somebody is really upset because of this third party situation or the way something came about. But they're not speaking their truth. Somebody is not speaking up. They're not really stating how they truly feel. They're holding things in. Tell me more. Yeah, somebody's not happy. Somebody's not happy at all. Mm-hmm. See, there was a lot of arguing going on, and I feel like somebody's just wanting to come out of conflict. Tell me more. But they feel like they cause so much drama that they can't even turn things around. It's like whoever basically was the reason why this third party took place in the first place, they feel like they just did so much uh, damage that they can't even fix anything. And see, now... This person has something that they want to say, but they're just moving really slow to do it. Mm -hmm. Somebody feels like they're not going to be able to have wish fulfillment with you, Gemini. Or maybe this is how you're feeling about this person if they were the ones that put you in some type of third-party situation. Yep. 
somebody feels like things may not improve because of it. Tell me more. They're probably three of pentacles. Yeah, but they're saying that, Gemini, this could be you not using your intuition or there's somebody's not using their intuition here because they do want to balance things out. Somebody wants to really put in forth the work here because they want a new beginning. Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress, please. Yep, somebody wants a new beginning and they want to have a peace of mind with you. But again, somebody's scared that things are not going to improve. I definitely feel like, you know... For some of you guys, somebody is out there worrying about money. There's something with money here. Yeah. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But somebody basically is no longer putting the time, effort, or energy into a situation, and they're focusing on themselves. Yeah, Gemini, this could be you because whoever you were dealing with, they stabbed you in the back. But look at this. I tell you, somebody's definitely dealing with a soulmate here. There's the king and the queen of pentacles. Somebody's definitely dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but this person wants to come back to give you an offer. At, it's like after you cut them off 100%. Now they want to come back in to give you this offer that you deserve. But yeah, look, they're speaking up about it. But it's like, I y'all are like, mm, I don't know if I want to take it. It's just the energy that I'm picking up. Yeah, because you guys are looking at this person like they're very childish and immature the way that they handled the situation because they definitely did put you in some type of third-party situation. Look at that. It's another three. Yeah, you guys basically don't want to build with this person anymore, but they want a new opportunity with you. But I feel like, Gemini, you want a new opportunity elsewhere. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but I feel like somebody's been doing some soul searching. And this was a lesson that had to take place because somebody need to break some type of cycle here. And now it's like you don't want a victory with this person, but I feel like this other person feels like they're not going to be able to have a victory with you because of what they did. I just feel like you guys aren't frustrated about it. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But something that this person was doing, it had to come to an end so that something new can begin. Because, yeah, this person that you guys were dealing with, somebody was being really sneaky. And this is why you're undecided what to do. It's like you guys love this person, but you're like, no, I'm not going through this again. You're not. I'm not doing it. But somebody is not walking away. It could be the person doesn't want you to walk away, Gemini. See? It's like, this person broke your heart because there was definitely a third party situation here. And I feel like somebody's trying to remove themselves out of it, but they haven't completely walked 100% away. See, look, they're trying to make a decision about it. Tell me more. Gemini, I feel like the seeds that you planted, you don't see them growing anymore and you're really upset about it because you really do care and love this person. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. But you're not, you're no longer worried about it because you basically you're not content in this situation. You're not happy at all. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of you guys, just, you're just focusing on yourselves right now. But this person wants to come back in to give you an offer. Tell me more. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this person doesn't want you to cut them off at all. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. But somebody's coming out of feeling confused. Somebody's feeling out of coming out of feeling like they lost you because they want a new beginning here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. But I'm telling you, y'all look at this person like, no, you're a player. They were dealing with other people. They're just things about this person that you just don't care for. And it's like, whoever messed up, they want to give you this offer, but... They feel like you're not going to take it. There's a tower moment here. Something came to light. Clarify the tower. Yep. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, this like the truth is coming out. Somebody's dealing with a Libra. But some, some type of truth is coming out. Mm. Let's see. Yep. Somebody could be dealing with an Aries. But... I feel like you guys are just looking. Maybe this person wants to come back to tell you that they want stability with you, but you're not taking a leap towards them. Or maybe they're not taking the leap towards you to let you know this. Somebody at one point was stuck in limbo, but they're taking it day by day and they're getting stronger because now they're ready to, whoever messed up, they want to put in the work to fix things. But somebody feels stuck. Somebody's not really speaking their truth here. 
Because it's like, yeah, I feel like this, whoever you're dealing with, they were definitely being a player. They were definitely being a player. And it's like, there's something that they want to tell you, which could be the truth about what they did in the past with whoever. But they're not, it's like every time they get the courage to say something to you, they, they just shy away. But they definitely want to move forward with you. Could be dealing with a cancer. But this person can't sleep. They're frustrated because of what they did. And I feel like... They're keeping a close eye on you because they don't want you to move on. But I feel like when they do come towards you and they speak their truth, their delivery could be kind of harsh towards you because this is somebody you're dealing with that they don't really speak up and they don't really show you or tell you how they're really feeling. They have a hard time like speaking up for themselves or speaking their truth. So, yeah. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I just see somebody walking away from some, some type of toxic situation. Gemini, this could be you walking away from this person because of the mess that they put you through in the past. This could be the other person walking away from something toxic that they put themselves in in order to give you a commitment. So just take it however it fits for your situation. But yeah, somebody feels like there's no security. There's no security with this offer. Like you, you don't trust them. Yeah, you're not moving forward. Somebody's not moving forward here. And communication is basically non-existent. It's not really even coming in. There's the Hierophant. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus here, but somebody wants to give you an offer of commitment because that card fell right on top of this could be the one. So it's like whoever messed up, they know who you are to them and they want to fix this. They want to come back in. They want to give you an offer of commitment, marriage, but somebody's feeling stuck. Somebody feels stuck. They don't know what to do. But see, there will be a decision that's made. Somebody's getting cut off. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Somebody's getting cut off because they feel like there's no balance in the situation. Gemini, you could be dealing with another Gemini, but I feel like this is you cutting this person off because you're like, no, I'm tired of this. Like, this is what you do every single time, and I'm over it. You could be cutting this person off. Yeah, you don't have a happy home with this person at all and you're over it gemini you're tired you're tired of going through this see you're healing this person left you out in the cold they ghosted you and you you're healing you're like no i'm uh, -uh, -uh no i'm not going back through this no all right let's see yeah see it's like this person you feel like they had you waiting you know and you were frustrated by it but it's like now you have the strength and, you know, you want to balance things out in your own life. So, honestly, for some of you guys, I'm going to say that you're walking away from this person. That's why there's unrequited love. You're like, you know, I love you, but I love me more. I'm moving on. But for others of you, this person's going to come back and you are trying to decide if you're going to give them a chance or not. And if you do give them a chance, I see that you're going to make them work for it. You know, you're not just going to jump back in. But like I said, for others of you, you're, you're walking away. You're over and you're trying to have the strength and the courage to basically keep your foot down and move on <sighs> gemini y'all leave me some comments <laughs> leave me some comments let me know if this resonates for you guys um i will put my information in the description box if you're interested in a personal reading but yeah let me know if this resonates for you guys love you gemini talk to you soon bye